Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I am starting off this eyebrow tutorial by tweezing my eyebrows. It is so important to have your eyebrows cleaned up, whether that's waxing, threading, or just plucking them yourself. I can't tell you how many times I have left the house with my eyebrows way too thick because my eyebrows were not cleaned up. So make sure you clean your eyebrows up to the shape that you think you want them and just clean up underneath and above where it's really thick and hair is everywhere. I'm going in with my e.l.f. eyebrow kit in the color medium and I'm only using the gel on the left side. I don't use the powder. It's pointless. Going in with this spoolie from Amazon. I'll link it down below. I'm going to brush my eyebrow hairs up and then I'm going to dip into that gel pomade and I like to pinch my brush to make sure that it's as thin as possible and then I outline my eyebrow and then I brush the hairs down and I outline the top just connecting the two lines if you mess up it's okay just wipe it off with a makeup remover and try again. I still have a couple hairs on the bottom because I didn't want to over tweeze my eyebrows so I like to play it safe. Um, so that's why I still have some hairs underneath. But now I'm filling my brow in with the gel pomade. I really like to use e.l.f. because it's kind of waxy. So while you're filling in your brow, it's actually laying down the hairs for you. And I'm able to push up and just stick them down. I also really like this pomade because it's super natural looking. And so it's perfect for when you're wearing makeup or not wearing makeup. Now I'm taking a flat brush. I don't know where I got this. Pretty sure on Amazon. And I'm just cleaning up the brow. There's no product on this brush. So if you're not wearing makeup, this brush is perfect. You just clean it up. And I always have trouble with this eyebrow because I have a scar right there from when I was four years old and tried to shave my eyebrow. And so I cut myself and now I have a scar. So I'm going in to do my faux hairs. Once again, I dip into the gel pomade, pinch it with my fingers to make it as thin as possible, hold it straight, and then make little hairs until I feel like it's good. I love to do that last little hair right there. Ooh, I love it. So then I'm gonna clean that up. I actually still have product on the brush, so let me take that off. So I'm gonna clean that up. Still, there's no concealer, no foundation, nothing on the brush, just the brush. So I'm gonna do the same thing to this other side. This eyebrow usually turns out way better and I'm usually way faster at doing it. So I'm gonna do the same thing, outline it and fill it. Okay, so because I am wearing makeup today, I'm going to conceal my eyebrows. I'm going to show you guys how I do it. I don't get too close to the eyebrow because I don't want to change the complete shape. If I do this, give it enough space, and then inch my way up there, I'm able to still keep the same eyebrow shape I want without messing it up. But concealing your eyebrows with a concealer or foundation makes your eyebrows look so clean and like perfect so I really suggest doing it but if you don't wear makeup and you just want your eyebrows done then you could just use a brush like I did with no product on it to clean your brows up but now I'm going in with a powder because I'm wearing makeup today I want my eyebrows to be a little more bold so I'm just darkening them with some eyeshadow and this is how they're looking and this is how they look with makeup so I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe.